We talk about organised crime. What comes to mind? Great Britain. You think Craze? The Cray Twins? The Cray Family? Joey Pyle? Comes to my mind. I think it comes to everybody when you think about organised crime. Yeah? And you go to America and you might think about maybe the Genovese family. And you might even think about the Gambino family. I can tell you, trust me, a gentleman I'm going to interview today, yes, has close ties with the Craze, the legendary Joey Pyle, and distantly connected to the Genovese and Gambino family. The gentleman in question, it's all my pleasure to have on the show. He is, of course, a legend in his very own right, Mr. Ronnie Field. Welcome to the show, sir. Thank you. Thank you, mate. I met Joe. I met Joe and... Um... And when we're saying Joe, are we meaning the legendary Joey Pyle? I tell Joey Pyle, oh, yeah. Uh, he, he took me under his wing. I was in a pub one day and he said to me, uh, do you want to go to work? And I said, uh, I knew what you meant straight away. I mean, I mean, uh, yeah, yeah, we I are throwing some roses up somewhere. <laughs> yeah, I said, yeah, I do, yeah. And uh, I went and done something for him. I was, only, I was very young. I, I think I must have been the youngest person doing this. And um, I got six grand for it, which was a lot of money when I was young, you know what I mean? And uh, I went on from there and uh, I was with him ever since. Yeah, I ended up there about two o'clock in the morning and uh, as I walked in, the screw said to me, you must be someone important. I said, why is that going on? He said, there's some people waiting to meet you. We've got a veg. All right. Yeah, waiting, waiting there. Yeah. They'd let them out themselves at two o'clock in the morning. Really? <laughs> I used to go and see Ronnie in Broadmoor. He used to terrify the lot of family. Was he a menacing bloke in presence then? It's just the way he's talked and looked at you. Really? Yeah. Give I us mean, an example, could you? Well, he used to sit, he used to just sit there and he's, he'd sit there like that and he'd be talking away and, and it, his feet would go like that and he'd say, uh, I've got to go now, gentlemen, I've got to go now. Because yeah, he was going to go. He was going to. Really? And he didn't really want to hurt you. Upset his mates, but the same was wrong yeah, there. But he, he, just, he just used to go in. Ticking uh, time bomb, was he? All the time. Reggie was, Reggie was calmer, but some people always said that the most dangerous one was Reggie. Because yeah. with Ronnie, you knew. With Reggie, you didn't. Reggie, you know, Reggie would um, sneak up and stab you in the back or whatever. You know, so you could see a warning sign maybe with Ronnie. You could see him maybe getting agitated. Yeah, he, he, he it, but with, agitated with Reggie, he'd do it when, when, it, as in, as in when you well, were not Reggie expecting Reggie would be it. talking to you about it all, all the while he was playing to do you. You know what I mean? Red, uh, Ronnie would just come straight at you and tell you, you know what I mean? Yeah. Of all people, um, your last Cody was none other than older brother, Charlie, Charlie Craig. Yeah, Charlie. Yeah. yeah. I thought Charlie had known him for years. He told me he had, but he hadn't. Mm. Don't get me wrong, I'm not, not saying nothing against Charlie. Charlie was a lovely man, he was a proper gentleman, and I loved him dearly, but he, he shouldn't have done that to me. And he went, he didn't go around shooting people and all that, and he, in fact, he told he told the twins when they killed Jack the Hat. They said, "This is the end of it all now. That's the finish now." Yeah. He said, "I've just got a card. Wishing me all the best." Oh, and that's nice. I went, "Who's that from, Jay?" He went, "John Gotti." Yeah. Really? He went, "I fucking needed that." Really? Because <laughs> yeah. they focused that every bit, didn't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, that, that yeah. led to the prosecution and yeah, the, yeah. That John Gotti had been in touch with Joey Park. Yeah. He went to visit Ronnie Cray. And, um, he gave me, gave me his um, bracelet. <laughs> and uh, Joe was sitting there and he went, you're, you're named Ronald, aren't it? So I said, yeah, he took his bracelet off and he went, there you are. I went, you sure, you, you did, because you had to be very careful how you, how you answered him or, or, you know, if I'd have blanked him, he'd have probably come on up in the air. Yeah. I said, we're only friends, Ronnie. He went, and he had that, that, that very scary smile of his. He went, yeah. He, did, he took it with a smile, did he? Yeah, he, he done it with a smile, but he, he, even his smile was scary. Well, let's get us raise a glass to the boys yeah. out there, yeah? All those, all Quite, those who are banged up. Quite that, all those who are banged up. Quite yeah. don't pay, but we do pay for our drinks these days. We <laughs> pay for our own. <laughs>